The trafficking of women between Trinidad and Tobago and South America is on the rise. This from Minister of National Security Gary Griffith. The Ministers of National Security and Justice held bilateral meetings with their counterparts in Venezuela and Port of Spain. Karen Kosia Philip has more. Minister Griffith says trafficking in women from the South American mainland into Trinidad continues and is actually escalating. He says authorities in TNT are working with their Venezuelan counterparts to crack down on this serious crime. When we speak about human trafficking, this is a situation that is of utmost concern to us because the, 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 the persons that are, that are being smuggled into Trinidad and Tobago, it is not just that, that they, are, they, are, they are being lured into the island and then they are being held against their will, again, and they are practically, it's practical slavery. So this is a very serious matter that we intend to, to deal with. According to the National Security Minister, Venezuela has become a transshipment point for women to illegally enter TNT. He says in recent times, the ministry has uncovered over a dozen cases where women were being held prisoner in this country. There have been, I think, 14 persons that we have actually um, um, persons who were held against their will um, from Venezuela, Colombia, even Guyana. Um, I don't want to speak too, too much more on, on these matters. They are sensitive matters. Minister Griffith refused to divulge further information. He says the human trafficking trade could also be linked to the entry of illegal drugs and guns from the South American mainland. And Venezuela's Minister of International Relations says the issue of human trafficking goes both ways. He reveals that Trinidad and Tobago nationals are being exploited in Venezuela. In Venezuela, we have seen some incidents where Trinidad and Tobago citizens arrive who basically work in ice cream distribution companies in Venezuela and even without knowing the language and without documents. They're undocumented workers and for very, very low pay, work there many hours, almost under conditions of slavery. We've been talking with our ministries, and once we have the appropriate information and studies, we will forward them through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to Trinidad and Tobago. Minister Rodriguez says once Venezuelan authorities have appropriate information, it will be forwarded to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Trinidad and Tobago. TNT's National Security Minister says this country's counter-trafficking unit will assist with setting up such a unit in Venezuela to combat the crime of human trafficking. The two countries also held talks on border security, the illegal gun and drug trade, and the transfer of prisoners. Karen Kozia-Philip, CNews.